Rameshwar Adre, we are discussing about that the magnetism. Okay, so in the previous lectures, we will discussing about also there are the two point are covers in the previous lectures. First one is the diamagnetism and second one is the paramagnetism are there. So due to this phenomena, we will also un understood that the two things are there: diamagnetism and the Curie para uh, and the also paramagnetism are there. Now in this lecture, we will discussing about that the ferromagnetism. Okay, so what we will uh, learn learn about that ferromagnetism. Today we are discussing about that the ferromagnetism. There are the it is due to the interacting atomic moments. Okay, so there are the interacting atomic moment. It's uh, there are the three different things are there. First one is the ferromagnetism. Second one is the ferrimagnetism. Third one is the anti ferromagnetism. Okay, so there are the three things are there. So we will understood the today. Uh, we are understood today what uh, paramagnetism, ferrimagnetism, and also the anti ferromagnetism. So see here, we all learn about that. Uh, see, first one is the diamagnetism. Uh, okay, diamagnetism it repel the magnetic fields. Then after we'll discussing about that the paramagnetism. Paramagnetism has also uh, due to that the two things are there. When atom molecule has a net magnetic moment and also it's come from the band structure, Pauli spin of weak spin paramagnetisms and the magnetic moment is that oxygen for example net magnetic moment is that mu is equal to 2.85 b are there micro b so per molecules a point it is a can moment most of the moment cancel out leaving the result on of the few buffer magnetons so see this is our Paramagnetisms are there. It uh, depends. Curie's mm -hmm. law. We also do about know, know about that. So it's a uh, it's uh, related to the Curie's law. Okay. So now in this lecture we will discussing about that the paramagnetisms are there. So first one is the paramagnetism, anti-paramagnetism, and the ferrimagnetism involve uh, no new types of the magnetic moment. But involve the way the magnetic moments are coupled. Okay, so guys, see here. What you study now is the ferromagnetism, anti-ferromagnetism, and the ferromagnetic involve no new type of magnetic moment, but involve the way the magnetic moments are coupled. It means the first one is see here. The ferromagnetic materials are there. What do you mean by that? It's alignment of that electrons in the one direction. Are there. See here, this all this one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are the alignment of the electrons. So it is in the one direction. There is in a simply in the same directions are there. And also notice another thing is that there are the magnet of the directions it also seems okay what is that the magnetic directions of the magnitude is also same so due to this phenomena there are the magnetic paramagnetic materials are there and also this paramagnetic materials as a this kind of things are there but now here see here the anti ferromagnetic materials are there oh anti ferromagnetic materials are there in, the, in this phenomena there are the Something different is that. What is what do you mean by that? Something is different is that. What is the same difference? The difference is that there are the one directions. Some are aligned in these directions and some are aligned in these directions. So there are the due to this phenomena, we will get that the anti ferromagnetic materials are there. Okay. So what is what is that? Anti ferromagnetic materials are there. It has a uh, one as a same uh, in. Uh, which directions and one other is you know, also another direction are there. So it is an anti ferromagnetic materials are there. Then after we will discussing about that ferrimagnetic materials. Okay. Now in the ferrimagnetic materials, what will happen? The ferrimagnetic materials, as I see here, there are the directions is also changed. Directions is also changed and also. The magnitude is also there are the different at here. Okay, well, magnetic materials and it is also there are the different at here. So see here the ferromagnetic material, anti-ferromagnetic materials, and the ferrimagnetic materials are there. So these are basic things are there. 
Now, two important ways to understanding the ferromagnetism in metals is listed in the introductions of the magnetic properties. Okay, it is a listed in the introduction to the magnetic properties. So, first one is that assuming the momentum moments are localized atoms. Okay, assuming the moments are localized to atom. Second thing is that using the band structure of metal giving given rise to the internet in in it in electrons the sum is conceptually errors and has been assumed in the molecular field theory and the Heisen's uh, bugs approaches it should be not right at the outest that given uh, that even in a metal metals most of electron behave as they are localized and the number of number of any number of 18 rater returns electron could be small numbers so if see here in fe there are eight valence electrons which occupy 3d plus 4s bands are there okay 4s plus bands are there so what is that first of all these things is how it's no so there are the band it means there are the electrons configurations are there so electron configuration is how it is work it has a 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 4d10 3d10 4s2 3d10 then after 4d uh, 4f 4f14 so that this kind of electron configurations are there so due to this well eight valence electron it means there are the six electron in outermost cell of the 3d and two electrons in the 4s so that's why it has a eight valence electron so out of this electrons only 0.95 in the 4s bands are truly free in 18 returns and the remaining of 7.05 are occupied the localized 3d bands are there so in the nico ni the corresponding nicole the corresponding quantities are 3d plus 4s so it is equals to 10 so free electrons are there 3 4s 0 0.6 and the 3d localized that the 3d 9.4 are there so see here i mentioned the band theory of understand the ferromagnetism as mentioned before, correct theory of magnetism in metal has to involve the band as an electron are not localized, localized to atom. So, however, as noted before, the most of electrons are rather localized and the free electrons for us do not contribute the, to the ferromagnetic behaviors. To, truly speaking, the third electrons in the transistor metal are neither fully localized nor fully free so band theory is able to explain the non-integral values of the magnetic moment of atom through the value may often not match exactly so the density of the state vary is in the complicated manner in fe and the 3d electrons are all not fully localized but and about five to eight percent have some in a uh, eighteen returns characters and these electrons mediate mediate the exchange coupling between the localized moment using the observation observe magnetic moment per atoms of Fe to be two point two micro the up spin and down spin occupy occupancy can be concluded as N D in this direction and the spin up and spin downs are there see here these are spin down spin up and spin down this is equals to 7.05 and is spin up and spin down it is equals to 2.2 so the end is spin up it is equals to 4.62 and also and is down is 2.42 are there so see here this is our band structure Simplify the use band theory understood the ferromagnetism. Fe inter inserts so the alignment of the up and down spin B and 
up and down spin b and s in the absence of bands in the absence of the exchange couplings are there so hole in the both majority and minority spins are there see there are the hole my hole is the in the minority and majority spin bands are there so this is a, it will use as the differences are there then after two important point to be noted are the n is actually more complicated than the simplify curve so see here this is our simplify curve and second then is n is different for fp and ni and i but has been shown that is to be same so third band has a high density of the state close to the fermi level so the above discussion can be summarized as few thumb rule for the existence of the ferromagnetic in materials the band giving rise to the magnetism must have the vacant value Vacant levels for an unpaired electron to be promoted to. Now, close to the Fermi level, the density of the state should be high. This ensures that when the electrons are promoted to the unfilled higher energy level, the energy cost is small. Density of a state implies a smaller space spacing in a energy. And assuming the direct exchange the inter interatomic distance should be correct for an exchange force to be positive leading to the parallel alignment are there so see here effect of the external magnetic field you will see these are hysteresis loops are there okay So guys, if you can't understand in this lecture, then comment in the comment box. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.